it's finally time, a secret letter from the late Queen Elizabeth Roman II has surfaced, demanding the expulsion of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, dubbed the traitor Sussexes. This revelation has sent shockwaves through royal circles and ignited a media frenzy, leaving fans and critics alike buzzing with speculation. What does this letter reveal about the monarchy's inner workings, and could it change the course of royal history forever? To understand the gravity of this revelation, we must first revisit the turbulent history of the Sussexes within the royal family. Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from royal duties in early 2020 sent ripples through the monarchy. Their subsequent move to California and candid interviews about their experiences sparked a wave of public opinion, some supportive, others critical. This rift has been a source of endless intrigue, with fans and tabloids speculating about the potential for reconciliation. However, the late Queen's purported letter introduces a new layer of complexity, suggesting that her feelings about the couple may have been far more severe than previously imagined. According to sources close to the royal family, the letter, which had remained under wraps until now, allegedly expresses the Queen's frustration with Harry and Meghan. In it, she reportedly states, I must jail them for the good of the monarchy, and calls for their expulsion from royal duties and titles. This shocking demand raises questions about the late Queen's views and her desire to preserve the integrity of the royal family. The letter, if authentic, paints a picture of a monarch who felt betrayed and disillusioned by her grandson's actions. The phrase traitor Sussexes is particularly striking, suggesting that the Queen viewed their departure as an act of treachery. It's a stark contrast to the public image of a grandmother concerned for her family, serving as a reminder that even royals grapple with deep emotional divides. The potential fallout from this revelation is enormous. If the letter is confirmed to be genuine, it could solidify the divide between the Sussexes and the royal family, making any hope of reconciliation seem even more distant. Royal experts speculate that this could further entrench Harry and Meghan's decision to distance themselves from royal affairs, reinforcing their narrative of being misunderstood and mistreated. For royal watchers, the implications are staggering. The monarchy has always operated under a veneer of tradition and decorum, but this letter pulls back the curtain on the very human emotions at play. It raises the question, how far is the royal family willing to go to protect its image, and at what cost? As news of the letter spreads, reactions have poured in from all corners of the globe. Supporters of the Sussexes argue that the letter represents a need for change within the monarchy, a recognition that the institution must evolve to stay relevant. They point to Harry and Meghan's advocacy work and their attempts to address pressing social issues as signs of their commitment to positive change. On the other hand, royalists and traditionalists express relief that the late Queen took a firm stance. To them, the monarchy represents stability and continuity, and any perceived betrayal must be addressed decisively. The divide in public opinion mirrors the rift within the royal family, highlighting the ongoing struggle between tradition and modernity. As with any sensational royal revelation, the authenticity of the letter is under scrutiny. Skeptics question whether it could be a fabrication or taken out of context. Royal experts emphasize the importance of corroborating evidence before jumping to conclusions. However, the letter's mere existence has sparked intense debate and fueled speculation about the Queen's true feelings toward Harry and Meghan. Given the history of leaks and rumors surrounding the royal family, it's no surprise that fans are on high alert. The media frenzy surrounding this story is reminiscent of past scandals, with every detail dissected and analyzed. As the drama unfolds, one must wonder what this means for Harry and Meghan's future. Will they respond to the letter, or will they choose to remain silent, further solidifying their independence from the monarchy? The couple has frequently emphasized their desire to carve out a new identity, one that is not defined by royal expectations. 
If the letter is indeed genuine, it could serve as a rallying point for the Sussex's supporters. They may use it to frame their narrative of being unfairly treated, thus strengthening their resolve to continue their philanthropic work and advocacy efforts.